Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and today we are going to reading our slash entitled parents. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. When I got engaged, my dad said it, he didn't even ask me for her permission. My dad wasn't in my life. My mom and my mom raised me and my sister by herself. He then put his name in my birth certificate because he wasn't sure he was my dad. His words got a fraternal test when I was a teen and proved that he was. How unfortunate. <sighs> that didn't really do much though, but I guess proved that lingering doubt that he's indeed my father. Anyway, I got engaged and we were at the restaurant with other family members. We traveled about three hours to be there for the weekend. Dad was like, yeah, I need to ask, me, ask for permission from me. <laughs> my husband, bless his sweet and amazing confident soul, was like, that's why I came here this weekend. My dad and everyone laughed. Meanwhile, in my head, I'm like, you honestly freaking swear. How do you turn an engagement to be about you, as if you're you've ever been present in my life for more than one day every two months? Edit, should have clarified that this happened a few years ago. This isn't a recent event. Our anniversary is coming up, so remembering this just made me angry. Also, we eloped. We used the money saved for a down payment on a house and saved ourselves a headache. <sighs> my mom is entitled towards me and my dad. My mom, 40, e e female, is entitled. We spend lots of money to make her happy just for her to say she does all the work in the house. Not everything is done by me, but I should be able to have an opinion since I do a fair share of it. Maybe about 30%. She has taken it, she has taken it too far these past four years since COVID. I got to see parts of her that I would never see if I could go back to school. I saw four phases. Narcissist, that corrects about how people always see her as mean. Spoiled. Men don't have periods, so they shouldn't be able to complain. Oh, not only is that sexist, but that's technically transphobic. Everyone else needs to do more exercise with the exception of me and me only. Currently, I'm at stage 5, and me and my dad talk about her and how it's getting worse every day. She has to get surgery to stop her from having periods, forgot the name, and that has to stop her from bragging to every relative that she's going to get her surgery. And after her surgery, she will be in bed for 6 months. But the total will be my, me and my dad doing all the housework, and my sister who has been taught every shitty thing my, my mom will not be helping because she's strong mentally and all you need in life is that. Whatever. Whew. As I recall last year, my mom and dad had a fight where he offered to take her and him out to eat, but he told her it's a bad idea because uh, he just bought the groceries and his paycheck wasn't for another three days. They went out in anyways, and being an entitled asshole that she was, she complained that he took her to the mall food court. How can you be this entitled, dude? He spent $67 Canadian for two people to have lunch and wasn't able to pay $140 for lunch at some weird hipster restaurant. Yeah, that's already too much money. Why are you demanding that he, he spends more? I resigned her for or this and fast forward four weeks, they go out again and he asks for the directions to the place and she flat out lies and tells them the wrong street numbers and they come home. They then fight home and she pulls me into her childish fight. fight. Me and my need for therapy. She doesn't need, need counseling. Only me and my dad do. We also need to go to the gym to work out even 
and though I'm perfectly fit and can do more than eight times, I'm the average for our push-ups. Even more so, I have I have been fat for two years prior to that, and I need to work out more. She usually asks me if she does anything wrong when she lets me out of school to go to a store, and I say no, always, because it brings her pleasure knowing it's she's perfect. But next time she says something, I will confront her. All right, so she says that only you need therapy, only you and your dad need therapy, like she doesn't. Is that what I'm getting here, or are or, or, or you saying that she doesn't need counseling, but she definitely needs therapy? I'm just going to move on to the next story. Dad versus sibling. Who will win the battle ahead? Oh, my encoder is all messed up. There we go. Time for another Earth story since my life is already... So this is about my stepdad and his influence on my life. And my brother's life, too. And what the current situation is. The current situation is... Alright. At best. He's there, he's supportive, he actually loves us, and is there for big events. All the good things. So, what's wrong then? Well, for one, my mom gets irritable when he's not there to comfort her. She yells more and gets and, and pissed off at the tiniest things. Sometimes I walk into my room and we'll ask her a question and she'll be on her phone and she'll answer, What? With a very irritated look on her face and annoyance in her voice. Oh, that kind of hurt. But again, this is kind of a thing for everyone. As when she's doing something and someone calls, she gets annoyed. She doesn't like being bothered very much. And when we don't bother her, we don't, don't love her, blah, blah, blah. He actually makes her calm down by sitting, standing, or laying there and doing jack... jack like to intervene. He agrees with everything my mom says about punishments and whatever. My mom and him are not married, keep that in mind. She'll be annoyed about something and go directly to him and he'll agree off the bat without even knowing what had happened first. It's really annoying and irritates me and my brother to no end. We even try to avoid messing up to make sure she, he doesn't go off on us. But that doesn't go exactly as planned sometimes. Because something as easy as eating at a different time than, than you're supposed to, as an example, can set her off fast. But they get to eat whenever they want, so I don't know. He's acting like our father, which I wouldn't really mind, but it's just like he's there to exist. My mom says, that's your dad and stuff, and like, I get you want us to have a father in our lives, but... <laughs> He'll tell us to do something, and if we don't do it the second he finishes his sentences, we're automatically in trouble. And you can't do anything with him without... Or we like, don't tell mom. <laughs> as soon as you're out of sight, he's sexing her. I had went to work and I ate ice cream for breakfast because that's what I wanted. And as soon as my mom picked me up from work, she fussed at me for two days. Over a small tub of ice cream. Which I bought for me to eat. Because he said something. He could have stayed quiet, but nope, couldn't do that. Okay, first of all, people who are in relationships tell each other everything. That's not a big deal. The big deal is that your mom is freaking out over this stuff. Like, it shouldn't be that, that way. And then, there's the illegal part. My mom was doing fine before this. Had low alcohol sometimes, but she ne was never irresponsible. And she isn't responsible now with alcohol, but I still am wary because I don't want her dying from going out drunk. My father brought weed into the household, and since then, it's been a smoking field. Now, you might be wondering... Well, maybe that's not that bad. They're adults and it's legal in their state, right? 
I mean, even if it's not, people have been smoking weed for ages without it. that many bad things going on, but whatever. No, no, it isn't. For medical use like CBD and other things, yes. Recreational use of marijuana is illegal where I live, which is what they're doing. You'll always have a bag on it and roll it up. It's pretty much, much as Bam from um, Adia says, Puff Puff Pass. What the hell does that mean? I hate this because... Uh, one, my brother cannot be inhaling smoke. We'll be in the car and my... I, I, I would pull out a blunt so I'd sharing with mom and the smoke comes into the back seat. My brother and I have asthma. He has full on, I have acute. When we laugh too hard, for example, we wheeze, but this is much for but his is much worse than mine. He's used an inhaler in the past. Tagging so needs it, but he hasn't used one in a very long time. Inhaling the smoke makes us sick and cough. Two, it's literally illegal. People lace some stuff with it fans and I don't want my mom dying, obviously, because she made the doc decisions to get high. I don't want anyone dying. That's bad. Three, accusations of trying to get high. Now I go and check my mom all the time. You should walk where she is and ask, you anything? You good? I don't invade her privacy as that's wrong, but I don't expect the same in return. Because there's no such thing as privacy in this house. This is my mom has been smoking the pack whenever we go outside to check on her. She smokes in a car all the time. It's a routine each weekend. Her or dad says something like, You just wanted to see what we're doing. Or, you, you just wanted to get high with us. No. No, we don't. We want to check on our mom. I want to make sure she's still breathing. 4. I believe that this has influenced her to smoke oh, oh, because before this, she never did this. And I feel as if it was brought to her. Mar even says that if we tell her grandma, she's gonna kill us. Grandma already knows, because I'm close with her, and she's very disappointed in her daughter doing illegal stuff, and even said that she won't bail her out because she knew what she was doing when she did it. I love her if she didn't do wrong, but she does... But if she does wrong, she's staying in jail. Makes me worried because what if more drugs become involved? <sighs> We're gonna move on from this. Now we get to food. Now we've had food the alcohols before, and my mom makes chili sometimes for the family to eat. Keep this keyboard in your, your brain. Now, Dad is a chili fanatic, and will eat it at any chance he gets. But my mom makes it, he, he gets a lot. Okay, that's not where he gets like two bowls before being full, and that's fine, sure. But you, when you go to eat some chili for lunch, and you see the entire container in the sink, and him eating it in a bowl, you get a little upset because it's for the entire family. One day, I said to him, I was planning on eating more chili, and he replied with, I kid you not, she made this for the family because it's my favorite. Family. What the heck? She clearly said that the food is for everyone to eat. My mom hasn't made chili since then because you make such a fuss us about everything, although oh, some more can be made. No, it can't. We're broke, and can't buy more materials to make more chili. Duh. And it comes from talking stuff that- taking stuff that's clearly ours. We're not allowed to accuse him of, of stealing or moving things because it's either the kids or the kids. The answer is always kids because that's what she thinks. I had a soda. I don't remember giving him permission to drink it, and he drank it. I was obviously upset because it's mine, and I told mom this, and she was like, 
It could be replaced. And I said, yeah, I know. It would have been cool if he asked for it before just drinking it. She says, well, he didn't know it's yours. And I said, he could have asked to figure out who this it was. Ask the specific person. If they say yes, then yes. If no, that's it. Simple. It seems really convoluted. How would he know to ask? What the heck? He's a grown man. It's literally common courtesy to ask for stuff. You're talking about your father here. It's not like your roommates. I went back and forth with my mom about this until I had a mental breakdown because she made me feel dumb and felt as if she wasn't listening to me. Eventually, I caved and just let her have her way because I knew I wasn't going to win. My brother come, comes into my room a week later and asks, Hey, did you eat my noodles? And I say, No. But I remember seeing my dad eating noodles in the bed and I say, Well, dad ate some noodles. Oh. And my brother was pissed. <sighs> Here's the thing, my brother has spicy beef and cheese noodles, two different packages of course, and it was sitting on the table, and both packages were already open since he tried- I had one- of each some days before that. This man walked into the kitchen, saw the spicy beef, took it, didn't use the packets because he didn't like spicy food. Then why are you eating someone else's food? And ate it. Did he ask my bro? Nah. Then he tried to put it out where it looked like it was untouched, and that he never ate it. With closer inspection, it was clearly a thing of noodles missing. We couldn't tell mom because we knew oh exactly what she's gonna say. I'm done with this crap. I'm going to bed. I'll update my parental situation on moving out eventually. Stay tuned, people. Gosh, I need sleep. How old are OP and, uh, and their brother? <sighs> hmm. Like, the main thing about the pot thing that I do have to agree with is, why the hell are you smoking in the car, especially if you're driving? Like, one, smoking in, in the driver's face is bad, obviously. But two, you have people with asthma in the back seat, and you're clearly getting them sick. And three, even in places where weed is legal recreationally, which is actually where I live. You don't smoke and drive. It's the same rules as with drinking. You have to be 21 to smoke weed and you, you can't smoke while, uh, while driving. Don't quote me on that. I haven't actually looked at the laws because I don't do anything like that. But it just seems like, like well, common sense. You aren't, aren't in the right headspace, you can't drive well. And you are actually a danger on the road. Anyway, this has been the entire parents. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!